Hello, earthly neighbor. I've lately been really inspired by the gorgeous sunsets in sunny Florida, so today I'm gonna make some nails about it. Starting off by taking a look at my nails, I've already attached some Gel X extensions and filled them in with builder gel wherever needed. And I'm gonna start with a natural color first and then i'm gonna go in with sunset colors and i'm gonna try my hand at gradients today it isn't gonna add much to the nail but it will make it a little less transparent yeah it's barely transparent but it makes a difference to me time to cure now i'm gonna use some acetone to wipe off the sticky layer of the gel so that I can get to sponging. Every time I want to use it, I have to kind of cover it because it, it starts, watch. Ooh, girl, if there's a $2 one, buy that one. These nails are nice and smooth now. I'm going to start with my pinky to do a little bit of experimenting. I'm gonna get this yellow and dot it onto the nail and then I'm going to pat it with the sponge. Now I'm going to grab this sponge here and not use the side that already has a little bit of paint and I'm just going to tap it. Oh lovely it just went completely away. Okay this probably isn't going to be as easy as I thought it was. Maybe if I put the paint here. Now let's see. It's like on there, but so barely visible. Let me just try, just for experimentation's sake, a nice dark orange. Let's see, let me try like this. This is a bright, bright color. Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay, that kind of ruins my entire plans. So, what to do? Perhaps if I put a lot more paint, I can get a better result. So I'm gonna go ahead and start fresh with a nice fresh sponge here. And I'm gonna put these two colors together just to see if they will stamp onto the nail, if you will. So I'm gonna do like a strip of yellow like a whole lot, yeah. And then some of that orange, so vibrant. Okay, so, I mean, it definitely looks a little more yellow and orange, but not even close to the colors that we're going for. We are back to the drawing board. I'm back and I figured it out. Time to bust out. Oh, reliable. I brought out my acrylic paintbrush and I'm gonna use it to put these colors onto that same makeup sponge that I cut once again. Let's hope this one works. for the best here. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, uh, let's try this one more time. Maybe if I put the paint on the nail, it will blend better. I'm gonna start with yellow. Oh my gosh, like here, just like up here. Okay, I'm not gonna use this soiled side. I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna bend it like this and just use every angle that I can. Okay, I mean, it already started to dry, so it left a weird indent where it was sitting. But it's already, I mean, oh gosh. I mean, it was better until I started seeing the, oh my, Back to the drawing board. You know, the only time I've ever seen people do gradient is with regular nail polish, and I was 
trying to be hopeful with the gel polish, hoping that it would behave the same, but it doesn't. This is a real challenge. I guess I'm gonna do what the pros do and try and blend this by hand. Ah. So what I learned from my last set doing a gradient is to keep this brush wet and keep it clean. And that will create the best gradient effect. Well, I'm gonna start with this yellow color once again. I'm gonna make a little dot. And then again, keep this nice and wet. And then pat. Yeah, that uh, keeping it wet makes the gradient like really happen. It really thins out the polish, obviously. And I just keep patting until it's actually faded. I'm gonna add a yellow to keep blending. This one's a jelly, that's cool. Right in the middle. I'm gonna keep my brush clean. And blend, baby. It's not horrible. I think we can do something with this. I just gotta keep playing with these two colors back and forth, right? You also don't have to worry too much about the texture because the top coat is gonna fill it all in. So you truly just have to worry about the gradient itself. All right, now I'm gonna add the red. Seems like we're moving along here. I didn't seem to have grabbed a red. I just grabbed a deeper orange, but it's gonna work for today. I think it's gonna look really nice. It's like a neon. Keep this brush clean and blend. All right, I spend a little more time just patting the, <laughs> what I say like that, patting? Patting the brush of the actual color onto the nail so that it can really saturate, you know, the color can really saturate. And again, I'm gonna keep my brush clean and see if this will blend any better. I'm just gonna gently tap to see how it'll all blend. It's giving traffic cone candy corn right now, but we're definitely getting somewhere much further than before. I think this is a great starting point and I'm gonna keep going from here. So I'm gonna cure this and then we're gonna do a couple more layers. I am flash cured and it is not looking too bad for a first layer of gradient. Let's repeat this process a couple of times to see how it comes out. I'm back, layer two is done and I'm not gonna lie, she's coming together. So I should have definitely listened to the advice of all the ladies that know more than me and blended it with a brush. But it's fine, we're here now, it's time to party, paint party. I'm gonna apply this design to all my other nails and take some gorgeous final photos for you. Stop, girl, this is the South Point Summer Sunset Fantasy, and it was worth all that experimentation and more. If you copy my look, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Clarabelle's Nails. And if you're just here spending time, thank you very much. And now that I'm done with my sunset manicure, I'm off to watch the sunset. Bye.